this is a strange problem and it was the second time i'm facing this problem so after completely restoring the engine and installing uh, this bike did almost uh, 700 kilometers and uh, all of a sudden there was a knocking sound so uh, we were kind of trying to do, doing the diagnosis for a very uh, short time and uh, later this morning this noon when i decided to break open the clutch side first and see what is the problem first i thought that the stator is off the track and it is eating somewhere uh, one of the poles but the uh, magneto and the stator was absolutely perfectly aligned and uh, then after opening this cover figured out what could be the possibility so this is a nut which is supposed to be locked and it is absolutely locked but and if i have to show you this is slipping away this is absolutely locked and this is literally slipping off now if if you see this the magnet is loose and it is almost locked and it is done it has done been locked because of this the clutch center was the small sprocket the main sprocket for the engine was loose and it was eating up it had a play in between because of this play and uh, the chain was in also went loose because we had uh, we have another uh, extra padding just to avoid knocking and uh, sprocket is new the clutch clutch bell is new this is basically a five uh, plate clutch bell but uh, due to unavailability of five plate unit we've decided to uh, install currently with a four plate unit so now after opening the nut the nut went very loose and this is how the magnet is dancing in between the key lock that's basically a minimum play so what i'm trying to do right now is fix this issue lock this try to lock it again and uh, then fix the uh, stator paddle up the bike and see whether the sound is still continuing with us or not so for now it is i'm going on pause and let let me just tighten this up so your life so paddle up here and let me just see if i can fasten it up further now if you don't have a filler gauge the best way of doing is taking help of somebody or paddle up the bike and uh, start it start it yeah see this should slide absolutely free right thoda raise kar thoda raise kar the 
this is all done so further we don't have to do any settings uh, I So we're done. So this is finally the setting is done. I'm only going to increase one or two turns out of uh, the chain adjustment and we're all set to go and the bike is done. So always remember that do this is a very simple trick but <clears throat> usually what happens is when you when you know you have to do certain things and, and it could be anybody. It could be you who's doing your own job could be a mistake or maybe the bow the nut might get stuck in between <clears throat> halfway through so you will have to be more patient enough to know the trick how to uh, make it loose uh, it is basically remove the magnet fasten it up and see where it is sticking turn the nut again and then try to tight the nut on the same uh, thread and keep adding some oil from the tray or whatever it is fresh oil as you feel and then it is all set and uh, since in this case we've actually changed one of the nut since i had it in spare but if you don't have it in spare this is the only thing which you can do to get rid of it thank you uh, and uh, enjoy also do not forget to subscribe like and share the videos you never know which rider needs uh, a help thank you Okay, uh, so what I want you to do is go back, bring the bike on neutral and uh, paddle up a couple of times. So, just to paddle. Are you able to find the sound? There's no sound. So, if so the additional knocking sound or the scraping sound is gone and the magnet is absolutely tightened up and uh, I'll see if it's possible I can fasten it up again to just to ensure that there is uh, no possibility of wear and tear again uh, and uh, the chain plate I think I'll have to reduce it further by just 
removing this much blade and uh, the clutch is also good and the rest I will align uh, the stator and uh, it is a simple uh, deal but simultaneously it is also a tricky deal now <laughs> the simple deal is that it needs to have a gap so that the magnetic flux ro rotates and generates the current in between the gap the closer it is it might eat uh, might kiss somewhere and eat in between so uh, I will take help of uh, Sunil and uh, I will uh, show you how to do it the simple way is to insert this and uh, tighten up these three nuts and Now, uh, if you can see, uh, the stator is actually cross. Now there is no gap in between. I mean, like uh, if you see, there is maximum gap at this pole, and uh, there's less gap at this pole, and it is mostly it has uh, no gap here. So just to check that first, what you need to do is take any visiting card which is made out of uh, trump. Okay. As I said, there is no gap this side, and yeah. So the best deal is to take a mallet and tap it at one side, and. Uh, The gap is increased at one end and decrease the other end. It should rotate freely. Now it doesn't mean that it has enough gap. Now, okay. This is all set, but it is not done yet. It's not yet completed. I generally, if I'm al alone, I do this. Now I take a filler gauge. Uh, take 0.50 mm, 0.5 mm, or 0.50 mm filler gauge. See if it is passing through. Now it is not. See, it's halfway through. No. So, check another thinner filler gauge. Twenty-three. And this should slide in between. It is not sliding here enough. Not enough. Not enough. Very free with these two poles.
No. If you don't have a filler gauge, the best way of doing is taking help of somebody or paddle up the bike and uh, start it. Start it. Yeah. See this? should slide absolutely free right for a race car for a race car This is all done. So further, we don't have to do any settings. Uh, I So we're done. So this is finally the setting is done. I'm only going to increase one or two turns out of uh, the chain adjustment and we're all set to go and the bike is done. So always remember that do this is a very simple trick but <clears throat> usually what happens is when you when you know you have to do certain things and, and it could be anybody. It could be you who's doing your own job could be a mistake or maybe the the nut might get stuck in between <clears throat> halfway through so you will have to be more patient enough to know the trick how to uh, make it loose uh, it is basically remove the magnet fasten it up and see where it is sticking turn the nut again and then try to tight the nut on the same uh, thread and keep adding some oil from the tray or whatever it is fresh oil what as you feel and then it is all set and uh, since in this case we've actually changed one of the nut since i had it in spare but if you don't have it in spare this is the only thing which you can do to get rid of it thank you uh, and uh, enjoy also do not forget to subscribe like and share the videos you never know which rider needs uh, a help thank you